Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jane Lawrence and I come with a lot of juicy content. On today's episode, I am going to tell you, I'm going to show you ways that you can be, you know, sexually appealing and attractive to your spouse. So if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. Do look at do look out for my content every now and then. Um, I used to be very consistent, but now I am not because I have a business running. So I have to find a way to juggle things together. But whenever I come on here, I know that I'm coming on here to give you something really juicy. So click on your notification bell to get notified every time that I post a video here because I definitely would always post when I do get a chance, okay? My name is Jane Lawrence and all I do is love, sex and relationship. If you're not comfortable with it, do well to click out of this video. If you're underage, do well to click out of this video. I want to make it categorically clear that my contents are for mature spouses, specifically for the ones who are married, okay? But that does not deter the single ones who are mature enough to get into a relationship, mature ones who are in a relationship to listen and learn. We do not subscribe to fornication, just so we're clear about this, okay? <laughs> now, have you ever wondered why some people find a certain look attractive while others don't? I mean, it's quite fascinating, truly. Honestly, there are many different factors that come into play when deciding whether or not you find someone really attractive or not. And you know what? A lot of it comes down to the science of sex appeal and what your own personal preferences are. And trust me when I say that, it's not all about how you look either. The fact is that the pitch of your voice, how you kiss, whether you're financially stable, your natural body scent, and whether your face is symmetrical are all known to be, you know, factors that contribute towards how a person's sex appeal is perceived. It's something you can't understand on the surface, but deep down, your preferences guide you subconsciously. So in today's episode of Juiciness, I am going to tell you, or rather I'm going to teach you how to increase your sex appeal so that you can become irresistible no matter what in the eyes of anyone. Okay, you may not realize this, but every single person has the ability to increase their sex appeal 10 times tenfold and attract a wider range of people. All it takes is understanding the different aspects that matter and then using them to increase your sex appeal. And if you can follow these tips that I'm going to give you and use them religiously in your daily life, you will be an attractive human being, man or woman, with tones of sex appeal sooner than you think. So let's begin with the very important one, which is which ranks higher. And that is one, learning to dress well. I am that one person who really goes out of my way to buy clothes like the re regular w women out there. Because I am more of making investments as much as I can. Now, the only time that I buy clothes is when I have an event to attend to and you know, I need to show up and show out, you know what I mean? Or maybe I feel like I have stayed for months and my wardrobe is beginning to irritate me. That's when I push myself to buy new clothes. But really, the truth is sex appeal is mostly about your physical attributes. And most people are carried away by looks first before character. Let's be honest. So if you want to catch people's attention, then you need to dress well. You need to smell well and always look your best. If you don't think your style is something to brag about, you know, use a few fashion magazines or get the help of an image makeover consultant. Cause believe me when I say that dressing well is one of the basic steps in knowing how to increase your sex appeal. Now, the second way to ensure that your sex appeal is intact is you working on having a great body. The key is working to have a great body. This is the key. It's easy to sit back and whine about how fat you are or why no one ever gives you a second glance, but forget the fact that you aren't putting in work to make sure that you look well toned and proportionate. So get off your butt and do something about the parts of your body you do not like. And trust me, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm currently doing. I didn't like the spaces in between my teeth. And that affected my confidence in the way I smile. I really smiled. One morning, I just got up and said, you know what? I am going to get the braces on. And I did. Now I smile more times than 
I can count with my braces on. And that was a year ago without them. Even though now they can be really annoying right now, like seriously annoying. I find it really difficult to chew. Well, all I'm trying to say is that you can only exude so much sex appeal when you are confident and comfortable with how you look without your clothes on. I am not denying the fact that there are still some perceived flaws that we can't help but accept, you know. Okay, like the stretch marks, like dark spots. But the ones that you can work on in a gym, please make sure to put in the work and get them out of the way. Just, just get them out with mad dedication and consistency. Start working out and take the initiative to look good. The fact of the matter is that you would have to run or do cardio for six months to lose weight. But just sitting around and having junks while bitching about the queer world isn't going to make you look any better. Do you want to look good? So get ready to work your butt off. You know, you're always going to get second glances when you look more fit, right? You know that for a fact. Number three, when you glow, your sex appeal shines through it it shines through baby so i charge you to learn to groom yourself eat healthily sleep well get your skin and hair routine on point go for professional facials and clean your pores real good because when you feel good about your daily lifestyle your skin will start to glow mommy and you look a lot better <laughs> you look a lot better your sex appeal will start to grow alongside how you feel confidently now let's get to number four find your perfect fragrance have your own collection of perfumes that smell great on you see when it comes to picking fragrances and perfumes always remember that what smells great on someone else may not work for you and that's because of you know, factors such as your body temperature and your natural fragrance. They matter a great deal when you're choosing your perfume. So invest in your scent collections and leave a waft of mild perfume in the air as you walk past someone of the opposite sex. It's an instant, instant turn on. I would leave anyone wanting more. Mm, Mama Sita. <laughs> See, let me tell you something. Perfumes, especially when they mix with your own body's pheromones, it, it can create a lasting positive effect on anyone you want to attract. And trust me when I tell you that there is no one I meet that doesn't compliment my scent. I use my perfs even at night when I want to sleep. I don't even keep it for... I don't even keep it for occasions at all. It's so good that even my undies smell too good to be true. So use your fragrances so much so that even when you don't use it for some days, your dress, your undies still carries your scent. Now, number five, the fifth way for you to work on your sex appeal is building your confidence. Because even though physical aspects matter the most in sex appeal, I can tell you for a fact that subtle factors like your confidence can play a big part too. So if you want to know how to increase your sex appeal, you need to learn to work on your confidence, baby. You've got to be positive as much as you can and learn to look at the bright side of everything that you do. Because listen, you feeling unworthy or uncomfortable around people doesn't help you grow your sex appeal at all. In fact, what that does is drive people away from you. But your upbeat attitude and confidence will draw more people towards you than you can imagine. And this is not to say that when you don't feel good, that you should keep up with appearances. No, no way. I'm not saying that. Deal with your situation with a good friend, family, or a shrink. That's so important to deal with. Because if you don't take care of you, who will if you're not happy what else is going to make you happy if, if your cup is not filled to the brim how would you be able to fill others up oh my braces is stopping me from pronouncing words <laughs> anyways what i'm trying to say is that if you don't fill yourself up with so much love joy gladness how would you be able to give what you don't have 
God. You've got to give it. If you don't have it, you can't give it. Absolutely. <laughs> so first and foremost, you have got to make sure that you are happy with who you are, what you are. And from there, you'll be able to feel the cups of others if you want to. <laughs> Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get into my number six, having intense eye contact. <laughs> For you to be able to have that sex or exude that sex appeal, you've got to have intense eye contact. The intense eye contact you hold with someone can increase your sex appeal. The truth is that most people we often meet don't have strong eye contact. They may look in your, they may look into your eyes for a few seconds before looking away because they can't hold their gaze any longer. But if you want to exude that sex appeal, let me tell you, this is one of the secrets. Learn to hold contact. Don't be that person who looks at someone's eyes and then, you know, glance, glances away. Hold that contact, baby but don't be spooky but you know you can't be holding contact eye contact with someone that um you don't plan on having anything emotional with i'm talking about someone that you truly like someone that you dig so absolutely and you want to exude some level of confidence and sex appeal you've got to be able to hold that eye contact while he talks and then you could take it from his eyes to his lips. <laughs> Be bold about it. It's just the subtle things. Very much so, you could dress absolutely gorgeous. You could dress so beautifully, wear, put on the finest things that fashion can bring. But if you can't hold, you know, the gaze and speak confidently to someone, someone that you admire he also admires you they could see through you that you're shy you're not that confident but you exuded but anyways there is something about you know there's something that kicks a man's heart where you've been demure soft shy feminine and all of that but there is something crazily, madly, mind-blowing about a woman who is confident and she is bold and can hold up a conversation, eye contact with you, only for strong men. Not all men can handle such women. Not all men can feel secure around such women who can really, you know, they look all glammed up or they look all attractive. But then again, they don't waver when it comes to speaking in their minds and keeping that gaze going. Do you get? But for the real man who wants to conquer you, the real alpha man who wants to conquer you, he will be obsessed. He will be crazy about you because there are not a lot of women who can boldly stand before a man like him who is all fashionably dressed, intelligent. He knows everything. He's got everything covered or maybe not but he exudes some level of confidence that is quite intimidating. But look at you, sweet little thing. You can hold up that conversation without wavering, without shivering, with your eyes set on the prize. Whatever. So all I'm trying to say is that your sex appeal comes more, or you exude more sex appeal if you're able to hold you know, eye contact. Don't be that person who is too shy to hold up, a, um, you know, that eye contact when you're talking, you're looking down. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Don't be that person. When you talk to someone of the opposite sex, especially someone you like, gaze deeply into their eyes as they talk to you. And when you're relaxed and confident, stare into another person's eyes when they're talking. 
it may make the other person feel awkward, but it will also leave them feeling weak in the knees. Hallelujah, somebody. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is the truth. Absolutely. Number seven, you need to stay calm and composed. No one likes a nervous person. Don't be that person. Because when you're jittery, it becomes hard to make anyone around you feel comfortable. So no matter what you're doing, stay calm and composed. And it will make the people around you feel at ease and you know definitely help them to better connect with you number eight learn to be graceful in your movement and in your posture whether it's a wave to say hello or maybe a handshake or a hug to say goodbye when you're familiar with controlled movement like dancing it makes you look sexy and appealing no matter what you do so being graceful in whatever you do just oozes so much sex appeal. And I have seen that with so many people. It's in the way they walk, the way they talk or act. You could never catch them doing trashy stuff or talking trenches. You can never catch them in a trench. <laughs> you can never even catch them um, blabbing or trolling anyone in a comment section on Instagram. By the way, I used to do that. When you attack me, I attack you back. But whatever the case is. So what I'm trying to say in essence is that have a more controlled movement. This light is reflecting on my glasses. Oh, it's now looking dark. So are you getting, are you learning something? I'm hoping that you're learning something. Now, number nine, be aware of your voice. You need to work your sexy voice into a conversation the next time that you're on a date. The truth is that we women may love the deep testosterone laden voice of a man, but men don't always want a woman to bellow in a deep husky voice. Men have always found a female voice to be attractive, especially if it's not too shrill or high pitched. And there is something about a woman who speaks in a soft voice and adds a perfect giggle now and then. It's almost instantly makes any guy like her. And then here is a perfect way to sound confident or to speak in a controlled way. Just like I am speaking, very controlled, counting your words but not counting it it's so slowly in such a way that you bore anyone. Just be exciting. You control movement if you have to gesticulate. Not all the time, just demure. So demure, so mindful, so demure. <laughs> so control the way you talk. And number 10, know that you look sexy. So if you want to know how to increase your sex appeal, you could use all of these tips here and become a new and improved hearty overnight. And unless you truly believe that you're hot stuff, you can't really become hot stuff. <laughs> That's the truth. It all starts with you first believing that you are that girl and more. Perry, you don't care what the world thinks about you. You don't care about... What if you're the world's standard? What if you're the world's beauty standard? You don't care. You're beautiful in your own sight, regardless of your flaws. No one is perfect. Even a perfect model is not perfect. So you are who you are because you're unique and God gave you this body. And so you're going to nourish it and flourish. <laughs> so unless you start believing that you are sexy just the way you are, you're hot, you can never exude sex appeal. Even if someone tells you you're really hot and you don't believe it, you can never exude that. Number 11, another way to increase your sex appeal is by being yourself. You need to be yourself, darling. If you're not yourself, your sex appeal will be non-existent. 
Now, how can you have sex appeal when you're trying to be someone else, someone that you're not? Your energy will be invested in trying to put on an act rather than working on your sex appeal. Why make life any harder? Just be yourself and your sex appeal will show naturally. Number 12, your laugh and your smiles are one of the greatest jewels you have in order to exude your sex appeal. Do you know that? Do you really know that? See, people love to be around those who enjoy life. If you laugh and you have good time, you show sex appeal to others. It's not necessarily all about dressing sexily. It's about the energy you give to others. So laugh. It's sexy and it makes you feel good, which is one of the most important things. And which is one of the reasons why I had to go wear braces because my teeth were just spreading and I wasn't really comfortable. I wasn't confident. I couldn't even smile. You could tell a joke and it's actually funny, but I wouldn't laugh because my teeth they were just spreading like shovel. And as I, I grew older, they were just spreading and spreading. I would wake up one morning and see the canine shifting to the side and the other one this side. And I told myself, how old am I? When I get to 50, what am I going to look like? No, so I had to put them all together. Even though it's very uncomfortable, I had to put them all together. And right now, I've got a perfect smile. I'm almost there. I'm not there yet. But I'm, I have a perfect smile. I'm the only person in my home, in my family, with bad dentition. And I had the opportunity to, have, take, to, to put on braces. But my parents thought it was beautiful to have dystema. And I just didn't have dystema. I had all of, I had spaces here. And it was spreading. So I couldn't smile. I couldn't exude my sexy self. Even when people said I was beautiful, I couldn't see that, especially when I smiled. But now I could smile and I really think I'm pretty. You see, I don't put on makeup. I wear my natural hair. Like I got pretty much tired of wigs and all of that. And I love my natural hair. I love makeup. And that's, that's not saying that I wouldn't go back to doing my makeup and all of that stuff. But I love 90% of the time, I'm always natural. And I love myself this way because I think I'm hot. I'm that girl and more. <laughs> that's how you should feel. Even if you think I'm not pretty, that's your fucking business. I am so pretty. Hey, you can't tell me nothing. That's how you should feel. And when you start exuding that, every other person will see how sexy you are because you're exuding confidence. Number 13, for you to exude sex appeal, you've got to be an active listener. You know, having sex appeal is comprised of so many things, yes? You want to smile, be a great conversationalist, and flirt. But you also want to listen. This is what many people seem to forget. They forget to listen. Most of us have already figured out what we will say next. Don't be that person. Be an active listener. You'll be surprised at how much people notice and appreciate those who genuinely listen to them. Number 14, flirt it up a little bit. I mean, everyone loves flirting and this is your chance to flirt your way to sex appeal. Now, flirting is all about building sexual tension between you and the other person. So if you want to make someone sexually in, in, interested in you, you need to flirt. It's a basic and standard procedure that works every time. Number 15, use your body language because most communication between people is nonverbal, which means it's all about you using your body. Use your hands, your eyes, your neck, your lips, and your hair. Quite frankly, your body is at your disposal. So by licking your lids, you know, you show that you are sexually interested in that person. By exposing your neck, you're hiding someone's arousal. You can also use, you can use all of these features to make someone pretty much attracted to you. So you could use all of these features to, so you could use all of these features to make someone attracted to you. Number 16, do you really want to, if you want some sex appeal, 
then know that health is wealth. Your body is a temple. Without it, you obviously won't be here. So if you want to work on your sex appeal, you need to make sure that your body feels good. It is, it's not about losing weight as much as it's all about feeling good, all right? You don't need to go on a diet. If you eat healthily, you will feel good. You will notice a difference throughout your body. So make sure that you drink plenty of water, get good sleep, try to treat your body as something sacred because it is. Number, and also do not give yourself to any Tom, Dick and Harry because having so many sexual partners degenerates your body or how do I put it? There is something about a body. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, right? It is the temple of God. And when you le allow every Tom, Dick and Harry come into you without care, with reckless abandon, your body will start to degenerate. You start to look older. You start to... All I'm trying to say is do not allow any Tom, any Tom, Dick and Harry into your sacred body. Okay? Be careful who you allow into your body, soul and mind. With that, you'll be confident enough because you know that you're a special being and you don't need to sleep with people to feel special. You're special all by yourself. Do you get what I mean? And number 17, I need you to know that people with crazy sex appeal don't chase people. When it comes to knowing how to have sex appeal, you don't need to chase anyone. You can be open, but you don't have to chase people for attention. People who exude sex appeal allow themselves to be open and friendly, but they know that they don't need to chase people for attention. So if you're confident, people will naturally be attracted to you. So this is my advice to you. Never chase anyone. Anyone who wants to be in your life, anyone who is genuine and wants to be in your life, you're open to that if you like them. But if they're making you want to chase them, don't, especially if you're feminine. We were, we were not created to chase. Stay in your feminine energy. Stay in your empress energy until someone good comes correct for you because the truth is what one doesn't like, there are thousands and one person out there who likes or who would appreciate your value, what you stand for and what you bring to the table, okay? So never, no matter how much you love them, never chase, never. <laughs> Mm. It might hurt you pretty bad, but darling, it's better to stay in your empress energy, in your feminine energy, than having to be in your masculine energy, chasing a masculine. Why would you even do that? Don't you have self worth? It's got to have self worth. Number 18, know when to leave the conversation. You know, you can be doing everything right. You're confident, you look good, and you feel sexy, you smile, you laugh, and you have that great conversation going on. It's all going well, but sex appeal doesn't mean you're all out there. If you want to attract someone, be yourself, but you can also leave the conversation, making them want you even more. Number 19, know that sex appeal changes with age. You're not going to pull off wearing a face full of blush for the rest of your life. In all honesty, there will be phases of your life during which you will feel sexy, not wearing bra, and other times when you just want to wear heels. I'm at the phase where I bloody don't care about makeup. <laughs> Before now, I would have gone, I would have put on, you know, wig and gone out to get groceries, but I don't bloody care. I go out like this. As a matter of fact, I'm just coming from the grocery. I'm just coming from getting grocery just like this. So there are phases in your life where, you know, you just don't care and that's sexy, you know. So the important thing is that you don't force yourself to stick to something that doesn't make you feel sexy anymore. Things change and that's okay. Number 20, stay sexy for you. Work on your sex appeal for you. Love your body for you and love who you are. Of course, you want people to admire, but if you choose to do something, do it for you. 21, show off your assets. 
we all have that body parts that we're proud of, whether it's the hips, the lips, the hands, or the neck. For me, it's the legs, it's um, my lips. Whichever part of your body that you love, show it off. Since you're confident about that specific body part, you will enjoy showing it off, which brings you know out your sex of appeal now this doesn't mean that you show everything keep a little mystery all right number 22 also remember hygiene you must remember that people have more than one sense or more than one sense all right yes they're visual and they also love touch taste smell and sound to determine what or who is sexy that means being clean at all time you don't have to swim in perfume but you want to smell fresh and alluring when it comes to you know learning how to never lose your sex appeal you need to remember that a simple scent can easily boost anyone's sex appeal 23 continue to work on yourself inside out and this is about more than working out in a gym you need to work on yourself that means eating healthy educating yourself and you know taking on hobbies that are challenging you know these things not only build your confident confidence but you know it does wonders when you're trying to increase your sex appeal people like being around people who have a good shit going on number 24 work on your posture most of us spend you know hours slouching in front of our laptops and computers that's not helping anyone you know your posture probably sucks sorry but you need to fix it if you're not used to standing or sitting up straight you better get practicing because good posture shows sex appeal body posture can indicate someone's romantic interest and isn't that what you want isn't that what you want number 25 um the color red <laughs> yes my darling this is the sneaky trick that you can use if you're looking to boost your sex appeal as a woman the color red actually boosts sex appeal um do you know why but studies have shown that people dig the color red it turns them on if you're not feeling super sexual that day throw on a red dress and you will be fine number 26 choose your makeup carefully carefully just as clothing doesn't suit everyone neither does makeup so find a makeup look that suits you and experiment with it like for me i don't like too much makeup i like natural just enhance my natural look i don't even put on lip gloss i don't i mean i don't even put on lipstick because i just love my natural just put on lip gloss give me something really close to my skin tone and light shadow i don't even like even lashes it's too much right so i like it really mild so find the makeup that works for you because you don't have to go all out and try crazy things to look fashionable just look for what works for you at the end of the day learning how to increase your sex appeal isn't about being fashionable i would tell you that for a fact anyways it's about you know learning how to be the best version of yourself so that so something that flatters you whether it's on trend or not number 27 don't be a whiner nobody likes a whiner those people are nothing short of annoying and nobody wants to be around them so avoid whining quit with a negative attitude and learn how to reframe things into a more positive view it will have a major impact on your life in general not only when learning how to increase your sex appeal number 28 be someone who looks for experiences a person who prefers experiences over material item is someone to be around with so you need to learn that so you need to learn that doing something and having those those memories is far more important than the latest iphone and people who actively look for new experiences like traveling around the world have a certain something about them that draws other people in number 29 resist the urge to check your reflection on every mirror seriously don't be that person who checks their reflection in every mirror or shop window it's so embarrassing in vain it's not sexy and just know that you look good and trust it you don't need to check your reflection to understand this fact number 30 I think it's time to be sexy. 
listen to me once you use all of these tips you really need to believe in yourself and realize that you've become a better person who gets a lot more attention than ever before and when you feel sexy it shows and it definitely attracts all the right attention so these are the nice ways to improve or build your sex appeal so now that you know get to work baby and see you when i see you Mwah.